Halloween Ends, 2022, Summation On Halloween night in 2019, 21-year-old Corey Cunningham is minding little fellow named Jeremy, who plays a trick on Corey by locking him inside the loft. Similarly as Jeremy's folks get back home, Corey kicks the entryway open and incidentally thumps Jeremy over a flight of stairs railing to his demise. Corey is blamed for deliberately killing Jeremy however has gotten free from murder. After three years, the town of Haddonfield, Illinois, is as yet faltering from the repercussions of Michael Myers' most recent killing binge in 2018, a, while Michael has disappeared. Lori Stept is composing a journal, having purchased another house and residing with Allison, her granddaughter, who is currently a medical caretaker. In the interim, Corey is working at his stepfather's rescue yard. Returning one day, he is provoked by secondary school menaces and harms himself all the while. A noticing Lori carries him to the specialist's office where Allison works. Allison and Corey foster a relationship and later go to a Halloween party, where Corey is stood up to by Jeremy's mom. In the wake of having a contention with Allison, Corey leaves the party and runs into the harassers, who lose him an extension. He is hauled into the sewers and defied by Michael, who in the end lets him go. On the exit plan, Corey is defied by a vagrant. In a battle, Corey wounds the man to death and escapes. Corey and Allison go on a supper date, however Allison's ex, cop Doug Mullaney, appears and hassles them both. Corey later draws the cop into the sewer. Michael arises and kills Doug to Corey's pleasure. Allison is ignored for an advancement at work, for an individual medical caretaker who is having an unsanctioned romance with the specialist. Corey then, at that point, kills the specialist at his home while the medical caretaker is killed by Michael. An accidental Allison plans to leave Haddonfield with a relentless Corey on account of the past injury, while Lori turns out to be progressively dubious of Corey. In the wake of finding him resting in the spot Jeremy kicked the bucket, Lori offers to help him depending on the prerequisite that he reduces most, if not all, connection with Allison. Corey answers by faulting her for the occasions that have happened in Haddonfield and says in the event that he can't have Allison, nobody will. On October 31st, Corey gets back to the sewers and effectively battles Michael for his veil. In the meantime, Lori and Allison contend as she intends to leave, and Allison, as well, faults Lori for Michael's activities. That evening, Corey sets out of control, killing the harassers in the wake of baiting them to the rescue yard and coincidentally killing his stepfather. He then, at that point, proceeds to kill his mom, as well as a DJ at a nearby radio broadcast, who had provoked him before. At the stepped house, Lori artificial endeavors self-destruction to draw Corey to her, whom she kills the steps. Corey then, at that point, cuts himself in the neck to approach Lori for his passing before the showing up Allison. Michael out of nowhere shows up and kills Corey. A battle follows, and Lori figures out how to stick Michael to the table. After a battle, Allison shows up to help stifle lastly kill him. Lori and Allison take his body to the rescue yard by police escort, drawing in the occupants of Haddonfield, who follow them in a parade and discarded in a modern shredder. In the following days, Allison and Lori accommodate, and Allison leaves Haddonfield while Lori completes her journal and rediscovers her sentiment with Delegate Hawkins.